and welcome to this video on how to get to your Minecraft save files on a Mac. So this is different to a PC, so we need to use a different process to get your Minecraft save files. Uh, you'll find all of your save files in a hidden folder in your personal library. The easy way to get to that hidden library is to hold down the Alt key um, which is next to the command key and in between command usually and control. So hold down alt key and click on the go icon at the top of the finder menu. You'll see there by pressing the alt, as I press alt, it brings up my hidden library folder. So I scroll down to the hidden library folder there and click and that opens up my library as so. What we then want to do is go into a folder called application support and in application support, you'll see a whole range of different files and folders that we might want to get access to. And in here, you'll see we've got a number of different files and folders around Minecraft. So this is the, uh, the Minecraft standard Java folder. If I open this one up, you will then see in here a folder called saves. And saves is where all of my worlds are in an ordinary version of Minecraft. So if I open up an ordinary version of Minecraft, click on single player, that is a list of all my saved files. You can see there. And if I want to take one of these files or in these folders to work on it, all I need to do is go back into the finder and make a copy of one of these files. So let's say we're gonna take this skeleton test file. I'll make a copy of that by right clicking on it and copy. Click on my desktop, right click and paste. And there we go, we've got a copy of my world file ready for me to work on it. Now that's a useful way of doing it. It's also a good idea, don't forget, same as a PC, always a good idea to make a copy of the folder you're going to work on, whether it's in MC Edit later on, whether you're going to convert it to bedrock, whatever you're going to do with that world, it's always best to work on a copy of the world rather than the actual world itself. That way if you corrupt anything or you break anything, you haven't lost your save file. Um, the other way to do it, which is how I show you in my PC video, uh, this is a shortcut and it works on any version of Minecraft. Um, if you want to go into any world, it doesn't matter what world, and open that map up, start loading it like this. So this is my crazy skeleton test that I was working on. And I just press escape and go to options and go to resource packs. Now why do we go to resource packs? Because in resource packs, you can see we've got a button at the bottom here called open resource pack folder. So if I open resource pack folder, it then opens up my resource packs. And you can see here under resource packs on a Mac, if I right click on the top there, we've gone into Joel folder, library, application support, Minecraft resource packs. So that's a really quick way of getting into the Minecraft folder as well. So if I click on Minecraft there, I'm back to the same place where I can get access to my save file. And I can get back to the same place and find that, for, uh, that map that we were working on. Okay, the other thing to do, it's a good idea um, for, for usefulness, is if I right click on there, on my saves file, and um, we go back a level, or we can use the finder to go back a level. Go to my Minecraft and go to application support and make a shortcut to that folder. So if I hold down the Alt and the Command key, when I drag this file across, you'll see here we have the little arrow. Don't copy it with the plus symbol, that's just the Alt key. But Alt and Command together will make a shortcut on my desktop. Then at any time I want to, I can just double click on that shortcut and I'm straight into my Minecraft folder. So, uh, other files that are useful in application folder, you're also going to need these later on in another video. Um, you'll see here if you use Minecraft EDU, there is your Minecraft EDU folder. So, uh, that's a useful folder to, to also make a shortcut of, because in there you've got Minecraft and again you've got a saves folder. And equally you've got your server tool and your saved worlds folder. So in here, I can go down to Worlds and Saved Worlds. So if you run any Minecraft EDU files, you can also get access to your Saved Worlds folder that way. 
And again, we can make copies of these folders and then use them in our conversion or our Minecraft uh, MT Edit tools or other tools. Okay, so that's it. So quick recap, there's two ways to get access to your Minecraft folders in a, on a Mac. The first is to use the Go menu, hold down the Alt key and go to your library. And then once you're in your library, you want Application Support Folder and you then want the Minecraft options. Minecraft there, Minecraft EDU and for Minecraft Education Edition, Minecraft PE. The Minecraft PE folder is a little bit different and we'll come to that one later. Uh, Minecraft PE, you have to go a bit further in and go to Games, Com Mojang, and I would make a copy of that folder, sorry, a, a, a shortcut to that folder on my desktop as well, because you'll need Com Mojang quite a lot, because in Com Mojang, you've then got Minecraft Worlds, and there's a list of all your Minecraft Worlds in uh, Minecraft Education Edition, and we're going to need those later on when we do conversions. Okay, so... Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to stop recording here and we'll move on to something else. Thanks.